Hi, and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented by Toyota. I'm Amber Wilson for CBSSports.com. A day after New York named Joe Girardi as Joe Torrey's replacement, Torrey found a replacement team for him to manage. Torrey, who grew up a New York Giants fan in Brooklyn, became the eighth manager for the Dodgers since the team left Brooklyn and will take over an underachieving team that finished fourth in 2007 in a division that sent two teams to the postseason. The winningest manager in MLB postseason history agreed to a three-year, $13 million deal, this after rejecting a one-year $5 million deal with incentives from the Yanks. He will be officially introduced in a press conference Monday from Dodger Stadium. How long will Torrey and Kobe Bryant be neighbors in L.A.? Since Kobe demanded a trade this offseason, speculations have run rampant through the league for possibly landing spot for the two-time scoring leader. This week, though, the possible suitors, they're dropping like flies. Wednesday night, Mark Cuban stated that the Dallas Mavericks were not pursuing Bryant and that they're keeping the squad that won 67 games a year ago together. And Thursday, Chicago Bulls general manager John Paxson said that any deal between Chicago and the Lakers was off. L.A. reportedly was asking for a package of Luol Deng, Ben Gordon, Tyrus Thomas, and Joe Kim Noah. On the floor Thursday night in the NBA, the Pistons and the Heat renewed their rivalry, and Tayshaun Prince rewrote his personal record book. He dropped in a career-high 34 points and added 12 rebounds to hand Miami the 91-80 loss. The Heat came in knowing they'd be without Dwayne Wade, who's recovering from knee and shoulder surgeries, but also missed the services of Shaquille O'Neal for most of the night. He only scored nine points in 29 minutes as foul trouble kept Shaq on the bench most of the way. Kevin Durant made his Seattle debut last night and scored a game-high 27 points for the Sonics, but the Phoenix defense, that's right, the Phoenix defense, proved to be too much for the rookie to overcome as the Suns went on to the 106-99 victory on Thursday night. After yielding 58 points in the first half, Phoenix clamped down to hold Seattle to just 41 in the second half and outscored the Sonics 27-17 in the final quarter. Steve Nash had 18 points in nine dimes, and Amari Stoudemire recorded his first double-double of the season with 23 points to go along with 12 boards. The Virginia Tech Hokies played for the second straight Thursday night, but this time they were able to hold on to their fourth quarter lead, holding down the rambling ref of Georgia Tech 27-3. Last Thursday, the Hokies blew a 10-point lead with just four minutes left with Boston College. But this time, Sean Glennon passed for 296 yards and two TDs, and the Hokies forced five Yellow Jacket turnovers. Former women's world number one and five-time Grand Slam champion Martina Hingis retired from tennis on Thursday after admitting to testing positive for cocaine at Wimbledon this year. Hingis continued to vow that she had never used drugs and that the test results were a mistake. The positive test occurred June 29th, the same day that Hingis dropped her third-round Wimbledon match to Laura Granville of the U.S. And that'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouths right here at cbssports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch. I'm Amber Wilson. Have a great weekend.